Now, here's something I did off camera as well. Well, I, I told you guys about it last stream. The Bat Pet is ready for pickup. And it's a level 96 legendary. Whoo! We're going to be using this later. Now, the thing is, I would like to get it to level 100 before the Spooky Festival. Which, by the way, is happening in like 7 to 8 hours. So, I have some mining ahead of me. But now it's finally time to upgrade the freaking squid. Ooh, that's like three mil. A yikers, bro. All right. Jeez, I wasn't expecting to spend three mil today on that. 34 mil. Definitely worth it. Fishing is my worst skill. Anything that makes it faster is good in my book. Ooh, that upgrade's gonna be ready in five days. Ay. Well, we got that done. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a very freaking long time. Oh, here's another thing. You might notice I have bits now. I have almost 13k bits. That's because my cookie buff ran out in the middle of grinding kills for the final destination armor. And I, the last thing I freaking want is to die and lose coins. Uh, I'm not using a cat flowers chat. What I am going to get, though, is another thing I've been wanting to get for a very freaking long time. And that's the dungeon sack. Boom. Now we can free up some space on the island. We're done. We got the final sack. I believe we have all of them except for enchanted fishing sack. But I'm close to that, too. So... Hey, we're... Oh, and we need the nether fishing sack. That's right. But, you know. How many T1s did you even do? Oh, so chat. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, getting like 40,000 Enderman kills. Um, I don't know if you can read. 866 Serif T1s. That's disgusting. I'm aware. That's very disgusting. By the way, chat, to all those people complaining that their Juju short bows aren't working anymore because they don't have Enderman Slayer 5, I want you to see something. I'm on an Iron Man, right? I can't buy things from the auction house. And I'm only like 420 XP away from Enderman Slayer 5. If I can do that with T1s, then you can too. Stop freaking complaining. Stop panic selling your juju short bows. This is going to be freaking funny because by the time this becomes a video, this is long gone drama. Oh, some stuff happened off camera as well. Uh, some other stuff. I upgraded some of the minions using their own materials. Not the most exciting content, so I just went and did it. Uh, but here's something worth noting. Tier 10 slime minion. And we're working on a T11. So once we get a tier 11 slime minion, I'm going to use it to produce more slime, make more slime minions. And apparently when Fearless told me that slime minions were nerfed, I don't think they were. So I think that's what I'm going to go for, for at least some of the minions. I don't need, for example, a second chicken minion. I already replaced it with ice, actually. I, I figured, right, we have some super enchanted eggs, right? I think they're in here. We got four of them. It might be worth trying to craft a couple of pets. Oh, yeah, and they added skyblock levels as well. So I am currently... Ranked number 924 out of 18,700 Skyblock players. I'm in the top 5% of the game mode, according to who logged in in the past, like, three days. Uh, so, I actually was in the top, like, 100 at first because I logged in. So, the more people that log in, the more people get put into the system. So, I doubt I'm actually in the top 1,000, but so far, so far I am. People are going to laugh at me because BLC but i'm excited about this so let me have my moment okay all you patcher people just sit down for a second something kind of cool happened over the weekend or not weekend the weekend's about to happen what am i saying over the past couple days blc got an update that i have been begging for for over a freaking year now look at look at what i'm about to show you see the hitbox here the hitbox is lower it's 1.12 hitboxes for crops BLC finally has it. Ah! That means I could farm without going into modern Minecraft. I'm going to hot potato book my stuff. So we're going to start with the Enderman killing setup because we're going to need it. So let's hot potato book that. All right. Uh, I guess against my better judgment, we are also going to be hot potato booking a crystallized heart. Uh, should I do that, though? We need to survive these Enderman uh, T2s, perhaps T3s. Probably not with a crystallized heart, but whatever. It's fine. Nice. So there you go. Full hot potato booked. Now let's see what our effective max HP is with this. 
Still 20,000? Let's also hot potato book the helmet because we're going to need that. There it is. 23k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the EHP goes down, but my healing goes way up with crystallized heart. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. So that's like 3,000 more effective max HP. Also, I got some sludge juice off camera. Um, oh, that reminds me, the forge. I've been waiting for like two days. Titanium artifact, as well as two perfect topaz gemstones. So that and a mixture. That's pretty freaking good. Now we're not going to be able to afford titanium relic for a while. That's 20 refined titanium. We're not going to afford that for a little while, but that's an epic talisman. So we're going to throw that over here. Perfect topaz is huge for the profile it is so i'm thinking i put the first one on my gauntlet take off the flawless and then use that towards making another perfect the plan is to make six perfect topaz because that's what you need i actually went ahead and just upgraded the void edge katana i just put a bunch of basic enchantments and reforges on it nothing exciting uh but i think we should hot potato book that as well so let's do that eight nine ten there we go hot potato booked void edge katana hi 30 have you ever played slime rancher no and then he said you missed my dono and take my money well i appreciate it i have not played slime rancher i've seen footage of it i don't know if i'm ever gonna play it because i'm a stubborn person that doesn't really try new things we're gonna withdraw 100k head over to the dwarven mines replace my topaz with a perfect one on the gauntlet it's gonna cost 100,000 coins to remove that is fine oh there it oh and it look at that look at that the skin changed there's one slot that has there's a pixel there there's a couple pixels there this looks like it's going to be the last treasure chest unless there's another double powder yep all right let's see what we're whew. That's a lot of powder. We're only two levels away from efficient miner 60. That's huge. It's going to go from three blocks to four. Oh, that's going to be so good. I think everyone here is hoping to see a T2 Enderman attempt. Yeah, but I got to do some gold mining first because we don't have a mana flux. Oh, there we go. Chat, that genuinely was 10,000 gemstone powder just then that single chest just awarded me 10,000 gemstone powder <laughs> that's insane well we're about to hit 80 anyways but I think did I do my math wrong I think I did wait 15 times 4 is 60 we were here for too long ah I have 91 okay we're done <laughs> we are by far we we massively overshot what the hell now we need amber and sapphire but we don't need to do that right now okay massively overshot whoops gemstone mixture gemstone mixture and now we need more amber i think we've done enough on stream today for that so let's let's move on to something else for the moment just so the chat doesn't collectively just get bored out of their minds <gasps> And it's the best it could have been. Nice pig. All right, we'll upgrade these later. By epic P. P. <laughs> Boom. Level 1B. Wow. So 36 enchanted baked potato. Almost enough for a full armor set. Um, all right. What do we spend these on? Three-fourths crimson. Hot potato booked. Very good. Now we just need to do tarantula helmet. And then I suppose um, a piece of Aurora maybe, unless Chad has a better suggestion. Maybe a weapon, because I have enough still to hot potato book an entire weapon. Actually, no, I... I'll donate a hundred dollars if you do two crystal hollows commissions in three minutes starting when you enter the minecart have to collect the commissions. Hmm, two crystal hollows commissions in three minutes? I'll take that bet. Wow. The scale is a second page pet now. That's sad. So here's our options. Corleone, Amber, and Sapphire. The second you, quote, enter the minecart is this. So, and go.
One, two. And I did it with a minute and 25 seconds to spare. GG. That should be proof, by the way, to chat that grinding 750 comms for this is so worth it <laughs> it's so incredibly worth it less than a minute per commission when you do that that's freaking amazing it's so good i could have technically done it even faster if i used armadillo but you should mine gold for griffin i should honestly if i'm gonna level the bat this is probably the way to do it uh it's actually a good amount of xp what the hell we might be able to just get level 100 bat like now you know as soon as i'm done with this vein we're gonna pay attention to the amount of xp the bat has and then check after another vein of mithril and just see how fast we're leveling it. A fissure miner doesn't work in special locations. Chat's right. I should go to a different location that's not in a structure so I can mine mithril quicker. Eight one four six three eight. Wow, that was almost a hundred thousand mining XP right there. That was literally like 90,000 mining XP. Hey chat, how much enchanted gold do you need to craft a mana flux? As nice as Griffin is, I technically don't need it right now, but the mana flux I do need if I want to do Void Gloom T2s. So that should be the goal. 1,024 E gold. Oh, pfft, we're there. <laughs> nice. One lobby and we have enough for mana flux. That's perfect. So 16 more veins for this level. And then, yeah, it's roughly 40 veins total. Not bad. Should be able to get there in a reasonable amount of time. It's a lot of mining XP. I might myself get a mining level, actually. This is a great way to just progress in the game now that I think about it. There's so many things I'm doing at the same time. I'm getting powder. I'm getting mining XP. I'm leveling up a pet. And I'm just getting material that I can use to make a beacon like this is just a great multitasking grind right now there's so many things i'm accomplishing at the same time it is like mega stonks <gasps> how do you get the enchanted rotten flesh for zombie slayer recipes rev minions i have multiple rev minions down same with spider minions for string i did or not spider minions tarantula minions honestly like on iron man those are those minions are like a requirement to have like two or two to four at all times you know what i want to do chat so you said you need 1024 in order to make the um mana flux right so i'll take all the excess out of the sack and then make it in the block so we have a count of how many total gold we need legendary griffin and mana flux time no we need so much gold for the griffin i'd be genuinely surprised if we're close like there's so two stacks of enchanted gold blocks is a ton of gold i mean i could be wrong i mean we did upgrade our fortune by a, a ton so like maybe we're close i don't know that's why once this lobby is killed i'm gonna see we're gonna see how much we have now is this lobby done is it completely picked clean there's one little chunk over there yeah it's pretty much picked clean all right let's see how much gold we have oh that's good all right i'm gonna leave 1024 for the uh power orb chat you're you're sure right you know, hold on I'm not feeling confident in this. High pixel sky block, wiki, mana, flux, power orb. I just want to make a hundred percent sure. 1024, chat was right. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. There. Good. So we got 36 enchanted gold block. So we just hit a oh. Okay, we're more than halfway to Griffin. Actually, not a bad grind. I think that is achievable in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, so I need another like 59 enchanted gold block. Not awful. All right, you know what? Let's do a, a funny chat. You want to see a funny? Hacker man. Five million coins, and now I can access my bank everywhere. Is the autofocus? You know what? Another content moment. We're doing two back to back. All right. Uh, so we actually need less than I. And there it is, chat. Look at that. 32 golden teeth. Mana flux power orb grants 50% base mana regen, heals 2% of max health per second, and grants 10 strength boom there it is mana flux and wand of restoration now i just need an ornate zombie sword if i really wanted to max out 
what I'm capable of at the moment, but I'd have to kill uh, stuff. You know what, chat? We are going to get ready for Enderman Slayer T2 fights. We're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, I'm a little scared. Should I waste a sharp six on a freaking... It would turn into an atom split, to be fair, chat. It's worth... Yes. All right. Sharp six. Wither Skelly might be my best bet right now. Because the thing is, it does like the additional damage ticks which might work with ferocity i'm not sure oh jeez, man void gloom seraph tier i can't afford it hold on oh yeah bank upgrade now so i don't have to worry about that anymore oh no just do the boss and see the stats you're lacking oh by the way one more thing let's waste some more coin ender slayer six I'm willing to waste the money on it. This is literally the only sword that I'm ever going to need this on. So let's just do it. Void Edge Katana. Ender Slayer 6. Ooh, we're, we're ready, dude. How much does that do? 75k damage. That's not bad. This is a tank setup, essentially. This is not a damage set. This is not made to do damage. This is made to survive. Let's just try it without a remnant. I want to see if we can not... I'm not cheesing this. I want to just do it. Let's do it here. Oh, God. And that is how you eliminate the hit stage. No! There's a person here. Stop it. Why are there people crowding it? Stop! Get out of here, nons! Out of my way. There's literally three people here, bro. I'm not... Bro. I just want to fight the boss on my own! He's still holding his... He threw the beacon. Ah! Bro, this is so lame! Get out of my face! People are literally just fighting over. Okay. Hello. Here we go. Here goes. This is it. This is the this is the way. There's not gonna be any sweats up here. Hello. Ooh. Man, if I had soul flow, this would be so much easier. Freaking soul cry. So far, so good. No soul flow. Ah! No, stop getting in my way. At least they're not attacking it. They're just running in the way. Mod's not working for that. Maybe I have it off. Possible. Did it like heal? How did it heal? I could have sworn it was in the yellow. Why is it? I'm so confused. I think it's about to die. 1.7, 1.5. And okay, 500k. And got him. Huh, so much clicking. So much clicking. But I got it. 
actually i had no problem at all tanking that that was so much clicking okay my damage is clearly really not great but like that was a clear t2 kill like easily